Hey guys, just want to do a little uh, follow-up video here. Some of you guys watched the uh, day trip to Lorelei where we set up the RV pad. And uh, man, we did it in one day, formed it, uh, leveled it, grayed it, seed and straw, and put in 10 yards of stone all in the same day. So this is my first time back to our lot since we did that. And as you can see behind me, this came in absolutely beautiful. Never expect perfection, but plan for perfection and uh, hope for the best. This uh, turned out fantastic. So can't wait to get the RV here and uh, we'll be able to pull it up right on the pad. It'll be perfectly level from right to left. As you can see, we got a couple couple trailers already set here at the property they uh, have to use boards and level their stuff out which is doable it's what we've been doing for years but uh, also the mud is under your trailer when it rains splashes on everything so this will be uh, nice neat clean and uh, work fantastic so anyway I wanted to give you guys a little update because you only saw the uh, beginning of the construction so let me get back over here before the tractor fills up and uh we'll get back to the video today all right guys so i got a plan today i think ted's along for it because i'm the one that's going in the hole unless i can talk ted into going in the hey ted you want to go in the hole That's not going in the hole. So we're tired of pulling vines and we're tired of cutting trees and we're tired of manual labor. So we got another idea today. Check this out. All right, Ted. Did you say man well labor? Manuel. Manuel? He's not here. Man in the well labor. So this is gonna be manuel labor. I like that. What's under there? Why don't you lift that up? So this is a, my idea today. Everybody's talking about magnet fishing. So we got this well that we kind of covered up. And as you guys can see, it's pretty deep. We're trying to figure out how old it is. It's definitely pretty old. It looks like it's just stacked stones, which is wild, but also a little scary because I want to go down in the bottom and see if we can find some coins from the wishing well. How deep you think that is, dude? I mean, we can see the bottom. Like if you fell down in there, you'd have a hard time getting out. Cause those rocks look loose. So we were going to go into the cistern behind the house today. It's not near as deep as this. It's uh, probably only 15, 15 foot deep tops. And you can see the bottom and you can fit a ladder kind of in it, sorta. So we were gonna go into that one today and root around and see if we could find some cool stuff close to the house. That one's pretty old, at least 1840, but it's full of water. So we don't know if that's groundwater, couldn't be rainwater, the hole, the opening's not that big. Anyway, it's got water in it, that's a no-go. This one's dry, even though it's deeper, much deeper, probably twice as deep. This one's dry, so it's a go. I can't talk Ted into going into this hole. Guess who's going? That's all right. Maybe we find something cool. If we find one cool old coin that dates back anywhere near to this 
homestead, which is 1765. This well probably wasn't here immediately, but it was definitely not too long. I think this was probably here before the 1840 house was built. So, you guys come along. We're gonna have to rig up a ladder, a bucket, flashlights, and of course, a Hard camera. Hat. Hard hat, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good call. Do you got one? How many did we throw away? 30. Seriously? 30. At least. At least. I'm sure there's more. Oh, there, I bet there's some in the house. In the barn. In the barn. And a hard hat. I mean, it might be a good idea with these. Definitely a good yeah, idea. Look at look how loose. <laughs> that one right there. So Ted says hard hat. He thinks that's a widow maker. <laughs> right there. That's a widow maker just about to fall. 25 feet to the top of his, I mean, my head. All right. We're going to, uh. We're gonna get set up. This should be cool. Or dumb. We'll see. Well, I figure we get us a two by four, about as long as from this tree, maybe over to that one. About yay high, going across. And then we take some block and tackle and hook it right to the middle, be right over the center here. For me? Yeah, to lower you down. What? I ain't getting on no pulley. How else are you gonna get down there? With a ladder. Okay, all right. You go down with the ladder. Yeah. And we'll use the pulley. Oh, for the bucket. To bring the bucket up and down. Oh, and you to hand me light or whatever I need. Like this. And that way it's not dragging on the sides of the... Knocking stuff down on you. Dude, this guy always looking out for me. T-Bone. Right, right up the middle. Up and down all day long. <laughs> all right. So, we do have some block and tackle in the barn we found. There's all kind of stuff around here, so we're going to do a little MacGyver. First, dude, look at this grass already. None of this was here last time I was here, like three weeks ago. So, I don't know about that big beam. I mean, I guess I can push anything. It'd be nice to have just a clear little path right here, wouldn't it? Over to the well for our exploratory. Yeah, guys, this is the uh, back of our barn. We think this was added later. This was like a lean-to over top of uh, the pens and the stall doors. So this collapsed, looks like a long time ago. And it's really not structurally part of the, the barn itself. It's just seen better days, but it still looks a lot better than this. All right. Let's come up with a plan. So we uh, cleared our way down past the truck, pushed some of this stuff out of the way. And uh, we're gonna try to just kind of keep this in one pile. Because at some point, we're gonna come in here with a grapple and just grab this stuff and uh, the wood will get burned. It's mostly rotted wood, as you can see. We're just clearing a path.
right, we got our path. I don't know about where you guys are, but in Virginia, we got chiggers. Chiggers like a little mosquito you can't see. Except for it bites you, leaves its little larva in your skin, best I understand, in you. And I guess uh, leaves a poison and it itches for weeks. And then if you scratch it, it's like a mosquito on steroids. In Florida, they have these noceums, another vicious little mosquito. I don't think we have any noceums in Virginia, but we got chiggers and they live in the tall grass. So, if you knock down the knock down the tall grass, hopefully you've eliminated the chigger factor. So, not only that, now we can bring our ladder and our uh, supplies right down our clear little path. Ted has uh, got a plan. Some boards came out of the barn. Look at that thing. What is that called? A tackle? Or just a pulley? Block and tackle. Block and tackle. So this was uh, in the barn. Who knows how old that is. But we're going to try to use it. So what? The board it doesn't fit on? We need like a pole? No, that's I brought the strap. So we can just strap this to the board. Just strap it to the board. Because it's not going to fit anyway because we're going to have to double this up. So it won't fit anyway. Because we want to double that up about like that. To get across those get two across. trees. And then I brought that strap. We'll strap. And that's what we'll put that hook on. That strap. Right in the middle. Yeah, right in the middle. All right. So uh, we just need to uh, nail it together. Figure our length. Nail it together. And then put it across them trees. Does that work? Right across the hole? Yeah. Yeah, it goes right across the middle. From here, right over to that. All right, and then that won't get in the way of the ladder. No, I think we should put the ladder right down there. First, so the board's not in the way. And then attach the ladder to that, which is pretty pretty sturdy. We just go low around it with a strap. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go get the ladder. There you go. Let's put a foot on it for now, bottom rung. Got the audio guys we got you covered we're professional professional amateurs hi that's probably scary hook you guys up with some good audio. Are we guessing? Yeah, this is long It's 
started under here. Yeah, come on. Just for a bucket, right? Just yeah, for, it's just for a bucket. Just keep an eye on it. I will. If it was me, yeah, that would be different. That'd be different. That's a pretty good system you come up with there, dude. I like it. Just add bucket, guys. Ted is a smart one. He's the brains in this operation. Definitely a hard hat zone now. Amongst all the stuff that was left and all the trash we cleaned up, this was a brand new hard hat in a bag. We're gonna need it today. When these rocks fall, they break a shoulder, I guess. We ain't gonna break a skull. My skull is pretty hard. So today I've changed my name. Manuel. Manuel, get in that hole. Alright, we have 
one pulley system, one bucket, one well, and a 40 foot extension ladder that's down about 25 feet, which is about what I figured. Here you go, put these in there, brother. It's gonna be dark down there. I'm scared. It was like Operation Home Fire. It's, it's exactly like that. I, actually, I like our chances better. <laughs> Those guys don't find anything. Oh, this ladder is very straight up and down. Oh, this will be the slowest traverse ever. All right, perfect. Okay. Thank you. We are going down. I can't fall back far, can I? <laughs> hey, Ted. I'm, I am not a smart man, but I know what Manuel is supposed to do. Manuel is a good worker. Let's take a look at our surroundings. Dude, there's no mortar. These are stacked rocks. I don't know how this doesn't cave in. And they're loose. Hey, Ted. There is water down here. That water I can deal with. Snakes, I'm coming back up quick. That's when it's nice to have a ladder instead of a rope. Yeah, we're in, uh, we got about three inches of water under these leaves. Because the feet of my ladder, I can just see the tops. So I should have put on my, uh, my other boots. I'm going to get wet, Ted. They're in the truck where I left them. That would be too easy. All right. Let me get you guys some light. It's pretty dark down here. I think this light would come on by itself. All right, guys. You should be able to see a little better now. Holy mackerel. So we got... Uh, Looks like some sand around the bottom. I'm still on the ladder. I don't see anything crawling around, dude. I think we're about to look for coins at the bottom of the wishing well. I bet I bet the kids of uh, of the Kaisers would wish they were anyplace else and throw their coins down. Oh, it is soft. I feel like Neil Armstrong. Here, before you send that, let's try to shift this ladder. Dude, there is no more. You know what's interesting though? So the stones, they go back. It's not just this row. They must have dug a huge hole and then stacked rows of stones, one in front of the other. So there's no mortar, but it's not one layer of stone. That's pretty, uh... so it's a natural filter and it will let water come through the stones into the well. That's pretty neat. Oh, this thing is in the mud. All right, so we are gonna try yeah, can you just push it to that side? Yeah. Let's do that. There you go. That's a start. 
Dude, this, this ladder is sinking in the mud. <laughs> it's not so bad. A little cozy in here. Let's try to set you guys up so you can watch me dig without the bucket hitting. Because we are about to make contact. What am I seeing? My fat belly? I thought I was losing weight. There we go. All right, dude. Oh, it's getting squishy. All right, so put that uh, scooper in the bucket. I don't need the light right now. I'm gonna try, send the bucket down and the scooper. If we get this you think this stuff is sand, but it's really uh, wet sand. Here comes the bucket, guys. All right. Amazing. Let me set up. Yeah, you couldn't do any, uh, they talked about magnet fishing. Wow, man, this thing is under, uh, like the dirt is falling out from under it. Far. The last thing you're supposed to do is dig in these. That'd be like, don't ever dig. Never dig. It's a good thing we have that big old uh, strainer. You're going to need it. Wonder how low we gotta go to get to 1765. Huh? Dude, there could be anything in this mud. Coins. Uh, you can find. Uh, I mean, we hope to find coins. The cool thing about coins is there's dates on them. So, what was that? talking to me all right see how heavy that is i don't want to go crazy that's pretty heavy. pretty heavy go ahead that's the weight because yeah, <laughs> it's, it's mud mm. all right so on the first one, I ain't, I ain't getting it back out of the bucket. Hey, hold on one second, okay? Yeah. When was it going to walk up and maybe help? And what? I don't know. Support the weight a little bit? Oh, no, I think it'll pull up. I think I just need to take a strap and put it on here and put it to the bottom of that post. To like hold this nice and steady, and I think it'll pull right up. All right, so let me just do that. Yeah, because this mud is heavy. Hey, you know, it's not as dark when I take my sunglasses off. <laughs> Brilliant, this is pretty cool. I didn't even realize I had my sunglasses on. Wow, you can see a lot better. So yeah, there's, I see at least three, there's one. Here's your course, and there's a course, and then there's one behind that one that's a course. And then it looks like, I don't know if that's mortar or what that is. Look at that, there's some slate, like filling the holes. Huh. Wow, but it 
goes. It goes back in there. I can only imagine. I can only imagine digging this. Even if it's as old as the house. And it's got to be older. It's got to be older with the other house. 1765. But they didn't do the well first. They built the house. And then they started doing the barns. Once you had a place to sleep. Doing the wells. That's pretty cool. Just give me a quick heads up when you drop something. So I can tuck my shoulders in. This is what it looks like. To be at the bottom. Now I bet I would feel differently if this ladder went away real quick. And then all of a sudden, as you guys can see, look at this. These are, look at this. Dude. <laughs> yeah, these have settled. That's what happened. I bet they were tight. And all this dirt has washed in. So it's gonna take a minute to even get to what was the bottom of this well. Because this is all dirt that is washed out. And then this inner course is settled. Most of them are tight. Let me zoom out. I don't usually like this view. But maybe you guys can see a little better. Yeah. Definitely better for y'all. Filling up with water. Had a little rain here lately. But... Hey, Ted, take your time. 